Before this video begins, make sure you guys subscribe. Also, make sure you join my new Discord server. Lastly, if you want some merch, the link is in the description. And make sure you follow me on all my social medias. Yo, what's up, guys? It's Nick from Against Gaming. Welcome back to another MLB The Show 21 feature premiere recap. As today, we had a lot of good news in this feature premiere. Today's feature premiere was about the ball player and road to the show. So, yeah, there's a lot to unpack, uh, and it's not specifically road to the show. It also gives a little hint about Diamond Dynasty and a little hint about the future, which I'll say later on. So, here we go. So, they began with the road to the show narrative. They have this new narrative this year where as you're playing the road to the show, you you get like these little video clips kind of like the other the other sports games with some analysts from MLB network sometimes as guests so like for example they're going to track your career and let's say you you're on fire they'll be talking and they'll be like this kid's on fire he's looking like a great uh, a great prospect or something like that and then it changes when you go to AAA or to the majors and later on in your career but yeah that's always great they showed two clips in the video so i'm gonna play them not yet though uh it was they showed clips with uh i can't remember the first guy but i remember the second guy was cliff lloyd and they also mentioned that robert flores and a bunch of other mlb network analysts are going to be in those videos which are great so let's roll the clips Three-time MLB All-Star, the mayor himself, Sean Casey, is going to be talking about you and whether or not he believes that you can make it as a two-way player. Check it out. This is the story that I am all about lately. The organization drafted him higher than he was projected to go, and they seem to believe that he could be a two-way player for them. But not everybody agrees. I've got the mayor, Sean Casey, with me. Sean, you're not sold on this idea. Am I right about that? Yeah, I'm not sold on it because I, I think baseball is such a tough sport. And, you know, when you first get drafted, maybe you come out of high school, or you come out of college, right? I mean, it's easy to be a two-way player. But when you, get into, when you get into professional baseball, it's so specialized. The pitchers are at another level. The hitters are at another level. And the work that goes into that one side of the game, there's so much that goes into it. So for a player to come into pro ball and try and be a two-way player, that's going to be a really tough thing to do. And not many people have, have had a ton of success at that. And the refinement's only one aspect of it. There's also the physical stamina that goes into playing a professional season coming from college or high school where you've got a few days off between games. It's very grueling in the pro ranks. Well, it's gr the grueling part about the, about professional baseball. In the minors, you're playing 144 games. In the big leagues, you're playing 162. The mental part of that, having to play night in and night out, is so taxing and so demanding. So to, to, to do that mental side of it two ways, I mean, for me, going back as a hitter, it would almost be have been impossible for me to do that. Looking good. Talking with Cliff Floyd and Cliff, when you're in triple A, those pitchers are making fewer mistakes and they've got a better read on you. You have to be on your toes as a hitter. No, you do. And you know what? They come to get you. They, they, they know you're the big prospect. And uh, if they can get you out, guess what? You know, they get the call, right? So uh, that was sure. that was my job, uh, just understanding what they're trying to do to me. I was struggling. Um, but when you when you deal with adversity there, it helps you a tiny bit at the next level. Uh, I felt like, you know, in AAA, I was rushing stuff. Uh, I wasn't allowing the game come to me. Uh, but once I started seeing a few of the pitchers, you know, the second time through, it allowed me to make those adjustments. The, the biggest thing for me was making adjustments on the fly. I learned at an early age. It helped me. Uh, just mentally slow everything down uh, and, and, and make those adjustments, knowing what a guy was trying to do with me, knowing, knowing what situations, uh, you know, was, was on the horizon. First and third, defense back, ground ball to second base. I know I can, I'm the guy that's supposed to hit the right. home runs and all this stuff, but if the defense is giving me a, a ground out to second, take it. Those are things that help you at the big league level. So, yeah, that, that's really cool uh, to have like a, podcast for the narrative for your run to the show that's great um so now we're gonna go towards the rules for the two-way player so basically it's pretty self-explanatory except for one thing which i'm about to say but 
You have the choice to be just a hitter, just a pitcher, or you can be a two-way player, which means you pitch and hit, which is incredibly cool. Uh, but you can balance how much you want to be. So it's not just going to be you're a hitter and a pitcher 50-50. You can like say to your manager that you want to focus on hitting, but give or, or but like start like once every couple of weeks. So it, it's it's cool because it 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 gives you full control. So if you want to be a hitter, but you want to pitch every once in a while, you can do that. If you want to be a pitcher, but if you want to take some hacks a couple every once in a while, you can. So that's a great thing. Uh, so that's basically all we know about two-way players, and that's all. That's all we really need to know. Now we're going to talk about the new ball player. Uh. New, new ball player definition. I'm going to say ball player definition because that's what they're calling it this year. It's no longer like a road to the show player because it's your ball player, which you're going to take across multiple modes. So first thing we're going to talk about is the loadout. And this was in the coach video for road to the show back when we didn't know what this really was. But now we do. So basically what it is, is it's it holds the archetypes for specific tasks and it has loadouts based on every position and based on your archetype. Like if you're an outfielder and you're like a speed power guy or whatever, it just holds all of them together. And they also mentioned that it is possible to get every single stat to a 99, but you cannot have all of them at 99 at the same time. So you can get any stat in the game you want to 99, to your ball player and road to the show, but you can't have every single stat in the game at 99 at once, which it makes sense. That, that's good. Uh, and also they said you can get every single stat all the way up to 50 overall. And then after that, you have limitations on everything based on your archetype and your archetype and your loadout. So let's say you are, uh, the anomaly, which was one on MLB The Show 20, I'm not sure if they're going to name it this, but what the anomaly was is it was a raw combination of speed and power. So let's say you pick the anomaly. You can get every single stat in the game up to 50, and then you can get your power and your speed and higher and whatever else the anomaly, the anomaly gives you. So if you completely max out your player in every single category, the lowest stat you will get or the lowest attribute you will get is 50, which I think is cool. So also they showed programs within Road to the Show, or not within Road to the Show, it's within your ball player now. Uh, so basically it's kind of like Diamond Dynasty programs. It, it, it's literally the same thing. You have, they're calling them tasks instead of missions, but basically you just do, you just play the game and you, you improve your player. That's pretty much it. It gives you tasks to do in Road to the Show or in Diamond Dynasty, and you can choose which ones you want to do to improve your ball player. So you don't have to do all Diamond Dynasty or all Road to the Show to get your ball player up. So you don't have to be playing Road to the Show to get your Road to the Show player better, which is pretty cool, which is definitely what I'm going to do because I'm a main Diamond Dynasty guy. And if I, if I can get some beast two-way player on my Diamond Dynasty team, I'm doing all the Diamond Dynasty stuff I can because I'm, I am I like that mode a lot more than Road to the Show. But it's cool that you can do that. Uh, and then one other comment that they made, which has nothing to do with this game. It has nothing to do with the show 21. But I just wanted to point it out. They mentioned that the only modes that you can use your ball player in this year are Road to the Show, Diamond Dynasty, and Moments. They said that, right? But they hinted, I I'm pretty sure they hinted at an open world in the future. Obviously not in MLB The Show 21. But they hinted at, like, the park of 2K and the yard of Madden in the future because th they kind of said that they're working really hard and that this is a brand new a brand new thing and they're working hard to come up with even more they, they literally said that they're trying to work on, they're going to work on this and try to get it into other modes. They literally said it. So I, I think they kind of hinted at us getting an open world. If I had to guess, 
And this is no guarantee, so in two years, if you see this clip and you're like, why isn't there open world? I'm not a developer, okay? So, <laughs> if I had to guess, I don't think it would be next year. I think it would be the show 23 if they were trying to do that. Because you're going to want to be working on this for a long time. And, for example, I read this IGN article this morning. It was Ramon Russell talking to someone who works for IGN about the stadium creator. And obviously this wasn't even close to being enough to making its own video. So I'm just gonna bring this up now. He said that they've started, they've been thinking about making a stadium creator mode for seven years. Seven years they've been wanting to do this. And they've been and they've started to work on it for five years. That 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 that's crazy. And that shows you how in-depth the mode is. And they've had this vision for so long and it's finally come to fruition. So I'm sure they've had this, this vision for an open world mode for a while. And let's say, I think Park for 2K came out in like 2K15 or 14, I don't remember. Let's say they started, they started thinking about it in MLB The Show 17, right? That's when they started it. Six years later is the show 23. That's all I'm saying. But we don't have to worry about that for a long time. I just thought I'd bring it up because they were sort of hinting at it. So finally, the last thing in the future, future premiere, as always, was the Legend reveal. And it was a, it was a really good one. I'm going to be honest. This is probably the, one of the better ones. Obviously, he's not better than Roberto Clemente, but he's one of the better ones. It's Kirby Puckett. Now, Kirby Puckett, I'm not going to go too in-depth because I make separate videos on the Legends and I predict their stats and predict Diamond Dynasty cards. And that video is going to be coming out tomorrow if you're watching this today. I posted it. So make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss it out. And I've already made videos on all the legends they've revealed. I predicted Clemente stats. I did it for Sizemore. I did it for uh, Alfonso Soriano. And I'm going to do it for Kirby Puckett tomorrow. But he was a 10-time All-Star. He was best known for his time on the Twins. He's a Hall of Famer. He's a He was a really good player. So, yeah. I'm going to be making that video tomorrow, predicting his stats, but he's going to be a great legend edition this year. So, yeah, that is going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Be on the lookout for that Kirby Puckett breakdown video tomorrow. I've been your host, Nick from Begins Gaming, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.